people, they are in trouble, in darkness, because they rebelled against the Lord. They were those who dwelt in darkness, in the shadow of death, prisoners in misery and chains, because they had rebelled against the Word of God. They spurned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore, He humbled their heart with labor. They stumbled and there was none to help. In other words, they were helpless. They were so down. And look what they did. It's okay to cry. They cried to the Lord in their trouble, and He saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their bonds apart. Friends, it's okay to cry before God. For example, in this country, why do you think we have this prayer and fasting? That's not a church program that we may have a prayer and fasting. No, that's a chance to really express and cry out before God, God, we have no hope for this country. Our leaders are not the hope of our country. You are, Lord. We cry, we fight until something happens. That is exactly what they did in Korea. The pastors would go up on the mountain and cry before the Lord and pray and pray. And God answered them and look at them now. No wonder they have so many prayer mountains because they were people who are willing to cry before God, fight for their land on their knees, mourning before the Lord. I noticed this even for us when we come here on the first 30 minutes to pray, to pray for our country. Some of us are just watching and sleeping because they don't understand. Your future is not in this country's leaders. Our future is in the hand of the Lord. If my people will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear their prayers and heal their land. We need to mourn. So I challenge you. That's why broken, you see, beauty in brokenness? We need to pray. 